everyone, welcome to Incredible Achievers, Brands and Leaders only on ET Now, the series that tracks the journeys of some of India's most popular brands. The Indian transport industry has been constantly evolving by offering new means of travel to passengers. And one segment that's becoming increasingly popular with urban Indian passengers is that of taxi services. So today we are taking you on a ride with a brand that's offering world-class service in India. And in fact, the company today has the largest network of radio cabs in the country. Here's the story of Meru Cabs. You come from an IIM background, you have some great credentials, uh, you know, to your credit. When and how did you join Meru? What was the idea behind coming into this industry? So I think uh, way back in 2011, when I was looking at this opportunity, uh, I realized that Meru is clearly one of the brand names which has become generic in its category. Huge opportunity. Uh, being run uh, some of the challenging uh, operations in past, uh, I knew that this is one area where operations capabilities is going to be one of the biggest, uh, you know, biggest delivery that would be required. What would you say is the USP of Meru Cabs? What makes it different from competition? As our logo says, rely on us. We work on three things. Uh, safety of passengers uh, is most important for us. And whether it is a women passenger, child, elderly passenger, the reliability that we work upon, uh, on-time delivery is a key for us and that we continuously work upon that. And the third is transparency. What is the significance of the name Meru? How did that happen? Well, I don't know. If you have uh, known a little bit about Hindu mythology, uh, Meru was the mountain used for churning of the sea during the, you know, our mythology. And it was a pillar, uh, it was a mountain of stability and that's where we got our word Meru. Uh, we have, as an organization, followed that. Our dispatch engine is called as Manthan, which is really the churning. And, and the projects that we run under Manthan are called as Project Amrut. How does Meru Cabs ensure safety of all its passengers? That's a concern that's really becoming important uh, with respect, you know, considering the incidents that have been happening uh, in the country, even overseas of late. So I think uh, three things that we are very particular about. Uh, first is that the identification of a person who is coming into our system is must. We have thorough background checks, police verification. We have our internal processes to do check of the, of the, of the chauffeur that is very important. The second thing that we work upon is training of these guys. And I'll give you a very simple example. Most of these guys are migrant workers. So they, they do not have seen the kind of uh, exposure that is required for them when they come from small cities. So our intent is to train them on a regular basis. Uh, whatever feedback we get from a consumer, we again do a refresher course for them. And the third piece in the safety is uh, the technical features that we have been able to develop. Are you also planning to link Aadhaar cards of uh, drivers into your verification processes? Yes, we are and I think that is going to be uh, uh, the the latest thing in this uh, in this uh, industry, uh, we are working with uh, with some of the people in Aadhaar team to really make use of it. Uh, and going forward, we would also request the regulators if the criminal records of the drivers can be linked to it, so that we have a good quality database generated at a central level. You have over fourteen thousand drivers in your system now. Some of them have been here for years. What's the sort of impact that Meru has had? on changing some of their lives? I think uh, two things that I'm very proud of is that, uh, and, I, and whenever I meet drivers, I really ask them is that, are you making sure that your kids are getting proper education or not? And if not, we as a company believe that we will support whatever needs to be done to make sure that the education happens of the kids. From the new government, what are your expectations? What are the sort of policy level changes that 
service providers like you would want? I think one of the biggest thing that we have been uh, asking the government is that across the globe, public transportations are given much more benefit as compared to your personal transportation. Uh, and for a simple reason, the infrastructure load that is brought in by personal transportation is significantly high. If they can give more support to the public transportation system, whether it is in terms of cost, whether it is in terms of operating cost or support system, it will help us to reduce the infrastructure load and will make the life much more easier. What's the whole concept behind Genie Cabs? What was the idea? How did that happen? So I think uh, we realized that we have been able to create a good brand in the sedan category. Uh, but there are another at least 25 to 30 million households who also need to travel in a very safe uh, conditions and safe environment and that's where we thought if we can bring in a product which is at a price which is marginally premium to auto then can we deliver and improve the quality of the services of both the chauffeurs as well as the passengers. As a service provider in the Indian market particularly today, what's your biggest challenge? I think the biggest challenge is how to ensure continuous good supply of uh, chauffeurs and cars into the system. Yeah, It's a very large market. There are about 1.6 million cars registered as taxi in India. But how do you ensure that these comes into a network, they come into as your service provider and deliver the right quality that is required to be delivered, that is our biggest challenge. But do you see a market in tier 2 and tier 3 cities in terms of price ranges? Uh, we have already launched in about 4 or 5 tier 2 cities. We have been getting absolutely fabulous response over there and will continue to grow in these cities. What are some of the business philosophies that you've inculcated at Meru? Three things that I am very passionate about it. Uh, the first thing is that we should create anything which is for long term. Yeah. In the short term, uh, we may not get the results, but look for things which are important and right for us from the long term perspective. Uh, the second thing is very important is for spend as much as time possible with the drivers and consumers to understand what is right for them. Uh, third thing is, uh, this is an industry where speed matters, where every minute matters. Uh, 24 by 7, 365 days is where our business happens. So everybody has to be agile and has to deliver on time. So time is an essence. Over the next couple of years, what's your vision for the company? What can we expect from Meru Cabs in terms of whether it's investment, whether it's uh, you know new offerings for the consumer? So I think uh, uh, two things that we are very focused about. First is obviously growth. We believe that we being the leader and the pioneer in this segment have to ensure that we grow at a rate which is faster than the market and we'll continue to do that. The second thing that we'll continue to work upon is as the industry is still in a nascent stage, uh, good quality processes, uh, service quality and the safety are going to be very important. So we invest a lot in training. So whether it is training of our chauffeur partners, so you know we were the first to actually start a formal classroom training program for our chauffeurs, where we actually take them through four specific things. I think one is you know many of these people are exposed to quality customer service for the first time. So you know we spend a lot of time telling them how to actually behave with consumers, what are the best way to deal with that, you know what are small etiquette related issues that you need to imbibe first. Second, we also spend a lot of time on defensive driving, you know, so for, from a safety point of view. So if you're, you know, if you're going, how much distance do you need to keep from the car in front of you? If there were an exigency, how should you react? Those kind of things. Prevention of rash driving. That's right. And third is in terms of, you know, the usage of technology because we are giving, you know, a lot, lot of uh, fairly sophisticated devices for them to operate. And fourth and very importantly, we also do a lot on women's safety. 
in terms of you know how the chauffeurs should behave when there are women passengers what is the kind of expectation when there's a lady passenger sitting in the car so one element is training and that is not just for chauffeurs it's equally for our employees i think we invest a lot in training to keep them up to date on technology keep them up to date on processes and make sure that we are able to provide a good quality consumer service how do you maintain consistency in quality of service so i think we again this is where the combination of technology and processes actually make a big difference so we in addition to customer service we have you know a dedicated customer service team uh, which is actually looking at making sure that every customer complaint that comes in is quickly and efficiently addressed so that's one part second is we spend equal and more time in terms of prevention so to make sure that you know we get the good quality customer service so whether it is quality inspection inspection of cabs inspection of drivers making sure that you know you are actually uh, doing what you are expected to do from a, a process point of view these are the kind of things that we invest a fair amount of time and energy on both from an automated point of view and also supplementing it with processes so for instance you know we have a fairly uh, large team out in the field which carry out inspections of cars we make sure that these cars actually go to workshops to you know uh make sure that they are technically up to date in terms of you know good quality cars are maintained and things like that so i think these things help us to ensure that we are able to give good quality service and as far as employees are concerned what's the kind of work culture and environment that you have at mere i think or at least i would like to believe that this is a very very exciting industry i mean it is an industry which is very dynamic uh, it is an industry where there are a lot of things which are changing on a day to day basis so i think a fairly exciting environment is one second i think fairly high energy and also i think i think we are relatively you know i would say semi formal so it's not that we don't um, you know we don't have hierarchies and we have good quality information and all that but i think people work in a fairly collegiate fashion to make sure that we are able to deliver what we expect and what's your target clientele today there are at least 22 to 25 million households who have a household income of more than 2 and 1/2 3 lakh rupees almost every one of them has i would say 8 to 10 occasions when they can use a car effectively that is our consumer base who we can reach out to and this is a huge huge uh, consumer base which is why we believe there's a very exciting category Indeed Meru's dedicated efforts to see happy consumers and happy employees are making it one of the most sought after cab operators in India today. Let's take a short break at this point. On the other side we'll explore the key growth drivers of the company, its innovative technology that's driving its operations and Meru's strategic marketing moves. You're watching Incredible Achievers Brands and Leaders only on ET Now. Welcome back to Incredible Achievers Brands and Leaders only on ET Now. Before the break we witnessed the inspiring success story of one of India's leading radio cab operators Meru Cabs. Let's now explore another key element of the company's growth, its innovative technology. It's the technology that's keeping its passengers safe and is taking brand Meru on a speedy ride to success. been with Meru Cabs right from the very beginning tell us a little bit about how technology has evolved in this whole transport business over the years we were the pioneer in the usage of uh, gps and gprs based uh, uh, call taxis dispatch systems we built our own in house dispatch systems uh, which actually could uh, do thousands of bookings you know automatically dispatching without any human intervention and over period of time we have like you know migrated from this technology uses to actually leveraging the data and the power of analytics we use big data we have data over last 7 years 
So, we use that very effectively into predictive analytics, into you know statistical analytics to build new algorithms, improve the efficiencies, improve the customer service. And what sort of a role is technology playing at Meru Cabs for passenger safety? Safety is very important and uh, other than the GPS and GPRS based tracking in each cab and every trip, we have introduced a few more features which we think actually will help into improving the safety and you know especially for women passengers. So one of them is a trip tracker service where any customer can put in one number and the, that person will get the details of the cab, uh, location of the cab every 15 minutes throughout the journey from beginning to end. Other service which we have added is called ICE which is an, in case of emergency uh, a panic button in our mobile app where any two predefined numbers will get uh, the location of the person, they can track it on map for 30 minutes when somebody presses that button and which also gives a alarm to the person who receives it. Tell us a little bit about the mobile cab wallet that you have launched, what is that all about? See, the customer needs a very seamless experience at the end of the journey. You know, cash has its own challenges with uh, change and you know, carrying around the cash. So, we wanted to give a feature where customer can pay through alternate mechanism than cash. So, that is why we launched a prepaid wallet which customer can fill up that wallet at the beginning of the journey or like at his own convenience and at the end of the journey he can simply walk out of the car, it is a zero touch checkout. While you have this whole modern technology transforming the whole transport sector today, do you think it is essential for companies to also retain a human contact um, with customers? There are, there are things like routine things like booking a cab uh, where I think customers are quite okay now, uh, you know, going with self-service options. They are quite willing to book a cab on their own through a mobile app or through a website. Uh, but when it comes to if there are any issues during the journey or like if there is any emergency, their customer definitely prefer talking to a human. So you cannot do away with a human interface and that is quite essential to build a, a strong relationship with the customer. Meru has many firsts to its credit. It was India's first real-time cab booking portal. How did that happen and how much of work went into really making that a reality? So back in 2010, we saw customers were open to doing booking on their own, self-service bookings rather than having to call the call center. And uh, we leveraged that, we put a real, we completely redesigned our uh, website with a, a focus on booking a cab and uh, we, we, we give a very, very fast experience to consumer where he can book a cab within one minute and we saw a significant drive of customers to move to a website rather than calling a call center. And this also then, you know, made us think about building those web, uh, mobile applications uh, which, which customer can use on the go. What are the sort of marketing initiatives that you have undertaken to build Meru as a brand? We have done a few things which have really worked for us. The first one has been to, you know, how do we get new consumers into the category? Uh, and there we came up with this concept of happy hours. So most people would take, you know, uh, a Meru to go to work or to go to the airport or, or for some official purpose which happens during mornings and then again there's a peak in the evenings. So we came up with this concept of happy hours which actually got a lot of college students, you know, housewives, a totally different category of audiences to tra try out a product because that was available only from 10 a.m. to 4 in the afternoon. So that was one. The second thing what we have done again to get a different segment of consumers in uh, was we tied up with Flipkart for the Big App Day and that allowed us to reach a very, very different kind of audience who would otherwise not have experienced a Meru. And we, you know, all they had to do was, and the offer was only available on the app, so you actually had to use the Meru Cabs app uh, and then you got a first trial gen uh, offer and that has done extremely well. 
So what sort of initiatives are you undertaking to promote the Meru app and you know really leverage the digital medium for the brand? You know at Meru we are very clear that you know we are a, we are a digital business and uh, we have a very strong product in the app it's a great app to our existing consumer base every time that you take a trip we say you know the next time why don't you try out the app and here's a special offer for you and that's you know conversion of our existing consumer base is one way that we you know get consumers to try out our app the second thing what we do is uh, which has worked very well for us is partnerships so i mentioned flipkart we also have a similar partnership with icici bank where to we've got a special offer out for the icici bank uh, users and that is available only on the app and the web so we you know working with like minded brands large brands uh, and leveraging the power uh, of these brands to bring a unique uh, consumer value proposition there are a number of marketing techniques available in the market today what's worked best for meru right now what we are focused on is creating some amount of awareness getting a lot of trials getting the consumer to move on onto digital and more you know uh, uh, and the app because the app uh, actually makes the consumer experience uh, really really seamless you can see how far uh, you know a cab is you can book it with one touch you can track your trip you can you know pay through a consumer wallet so going forward what is the sort of branding and marketing exercise that uh, we can expect from meru so we're looking at a bunch of different things like i said uh, digital is a very strong part of what we are doing uh, and there's a whole you know range of things that we're doing uh, on social on crm uh, on stuff like loyalty Uh, uh as one part the second thing what we are doing is in terms of launching new markets where we run campaigns to build awareness get trial generation going you know uh get basically sampling uh, of our product uh we also looking at uh, you know uh, other more thematic uh, kind of campaigns and so on but you know uh, that's all in 2015 हमको सबसे अच्छा वही लगता है कि इनका एक तो कॉल सेंटर का है कॉल सेंटर से बुकिंग हुआ दूसरा हमको मैसेज मिल जाता है मैसेज मिल गया हमको मतलब कहीं भटकना नहीं इधर उधर कि पैसेंजर देखना है करना करना कुछ नहीं बुकिंग हुआ बुकिंग हुआ घर पे गए एड्रेस पे पहुँचे पिकअप किए जहाँ जाना है उनको ड्रॉप किए सो आई बीन यूजिंग मेरू फॉर द पास फाइव ईयर्स एंड ओवर द फाइव ईयर्स आई फाउंड इट टू बी अ वेरी ट्रस्ट वर्दी एंड अ वेरी गुड ब्रांड amongst my friends and family that's the preferred brand that we have the cars are very reliable the drivers are very efficient and courteous so i find the service very good meru cabs clocked an annual turnover of 424 crore rupees last year growing at a rapid pace the company is present in 13 indian cities and is eyeing expansion into 35 cities in the next few years with a strong focus on passenger safety meru cabs expects to leap ahead of competition not just in earning profits but in winning consumer trust as well indeed winning customer trust is perhaps the single most important factor that can drive a brand ahead in this highly competitive segment that was the inspiring story of meru cabs a premium cab service that has many firsts to its credit that's all we have on today's episode next time we'll explore yet another incredible brand of india and make you meet the men and women behind it till then it's goodbye